Hi, Naya Rappaport here, also known as Nayita. Welcome back. So today I'll be breaking down Ekapara Raja Kapotasana, which is just one-legged king pigeon pose. Um, before I do that, I want to start with some prep poses, get you nice and warmed up, pause this video at any time, or just do your own yoga flow, get nice and juicy for this um, nice posture. <laughs> so there's, um, so king pigeon. Start in Balasana Child's Pose. Knees apart, big toes touch. Extend the arms forward. Starting to open up the chest, sink the forehead to the ground. So I really want to focus on the shoulders here since you're going to be reaching back, trying to grab your ankle. And if you have eggs or blocks, it would be awesome for you to place them underneath the elbows. And then once you do, you could bend the elbows, press your hands together, and bring your thumbs to the neck. Deep belly breaths here. When you're ready, release that. Stay as long as you would like to. Like I said, you could pause this video at any time and do your own flow. Next would be tabletop, lubricating, warming up the spine. So wrists underneath the shoulders, knees under the hips. I want you to look in between the knees, make sure that the feet are completely invisible behind the knees. As you inhale, you're going to look up, navel comes down towards the mat. As you exhale, you round and curl like a mad cat. Try to exaggerate your movements and starting to move here with your breath. So as you inhale, you look up and try to drag the palms to the knees. As you exhale, drag the palms away from the knees, pressing into the ground. I'll do this one more time just for my own benefit. And then slowly release. I curl my toes, coming into downward facing dog, Adho Mukha I'm going to walk my dog here real quick just because I feel like I need it. And then slowly, I'm going to bring my right foot in between my hands, getting ready for pigeon pose. Heel toe the foot all the way to the left, drop the right knee down, and slowly, mindfully come down here. Notice that I have my back toes curled, because I just want to make sure that that back leg is internally rotated. I don't want the knee to be splaying out to the left. Deep belly breaths here. Stay as long as you would like to. So here, my left quad is contracted. And just notice how the right foot, the right shin is angled. The further it is away from your treasure, the more challenging it may be. And if you move it a little bit closer, which I will when I come to my one-legged king pigeon, just for stability. But right now I'm, stretch I'm stretching and this feels pretty good. So maybe I could take a small back bend here, reaching my chest up, extending my arms. Then as I exhale, I forward fold. And then I release the back leg, uncurl the toes and take a deep breath here. So I'm going to show you the variation of mermaid first. For mermaid, before then actually, I want to stretch on my quad. So here's a nice stretch. You can stay in that forward fold and then bend the back knee. And notice when you do bend, notice if your knee is bending to the left or to the right. See if you could try to contract the hamstring and bring the toes straight up towards the ceiling. Once you do, I'm gonna take this stretch with a small twist. I'm gonna grab my ankle and try to bring my heel closer to my glute. Deep belly breaths here. Noticing your sensations. So, Pigeon is really interesting because you're opening the right hip in an external rotation as you keep the back one in an internal rotation here. So notice how I brought my heel closer 
to my left hip bone just to be a little more comfy. I am going into mermaid, so I'm going to bend the left knee, grab the foot, and I want to hook the foot inside my left elbow. Once I'm here, I reach with the right hand, reach up, and grab my fingertips together. Ta-da! This is mermaid. It's more of a um, contracting the left side of my obliques as I stretch the right side of my body. Deep belly breaths here. And then slowly I let go. Getting ready for King Pigeon. I am going to grab with my right arm the outside of my foot and notice how my elbow went up here. So both elbows are going to face up towards the ceiling. Deep breaths. I am pressing into the right knee as I also press into the left. Back bending here and reaching the left arm up, grabbing it and meeting the right. Maybe interlacing my fingers. Elbows together. Slowly let go as you came in without slingshotting the leg. Press into that front leg, bring around the left. And maybe come into child's pose or do something that makes you feel comfortable just to counter the pose. I hope this helped you in a little bit more of a breakdown, warm up aspect, and give it a try. Do it on both sides. I'm gonna do it once this video is done. I wanna say thank you and answer a quick question via Instagram. Let's see, what type of diet do you have? I do not have a diet. I just practice mindful eating. <laughs> With that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Follow me on Instagram, Nayida VP, and check out my website. Stay updated with retreats, workshops, and my classes. Much love. Mwah. Thank you for watching. Namaste.